Let's talk about coaptation splints for humerus fractures. So if you have a patient with a humerus shaft fracture, this is the splint that you want to do. Now for this, I recommend having an extra set of hands. And I also like using plaster for this particular splint because you can mold it a little bit better. However, if your shop does not have it, then orthoglass will do. So it's going to be splinting per usual. So make sure you grab all of your equipment. This particular splint should extend from the medial aspect of the axilla wrap around the elbow and go all the way up over the AC joint. So be sure to be generous with the padding, especially in the axilla. You can even use an ABD dressing just so you can give the patient a little bit more comfort. Once you have the patient padded, go ahead and apply your splint material, making sure the elbow is flexed at 90 degrees. Follow this up with an ACE wrap and a sling, and you should have something that looks like this. Now, there are a couple of different nuances. This is the simplified version. However, if you want to, by all means, get fancy with it.